so I think we would hope to achieve a few key outcomes from the network. The first and most obvious is to network everybody together and build support networks so that underrepresented individuals um, are networked together across the UK and can share best practice as well. So not just the individuals, but also the institutions that have conducted projects under the network and have shown that particular things can make a difference to individuals and institution, the network should be sharing that best practice on initiatives that are really successful throughout the sector. So that's one thing is to bring everybody together and to understand what works and what doesn't. So other things will be obviously to run initiatives to collect data and show that they have an impact and that they improve the situation, that you can make a difference. Um, we want to prepare these briefing notes, make them publicly available, but get them to the people that matter, that can be the decision makers, people who are really going to make those decisions. Generally, we, we need to raise awareness of the issues, and that's not just an awareness. I think most people know now that there are there is underrepresentation and there are issues if you come from particular backgrounds. So, for example, in STEM, not many women very little information about LGBT, um, very underrepresented in terms of um, ethnicity, black in particular in academia. So there, there's quite a well-known facts now, I think, but a lot of it is anecdotal and not well-founded enough, not sufficiently well-founded in data that you can really push for action. So I think that one of the key things is to get that data out there and provide people with incontrovertible evidence that things need to change and that the issues are systematic and not around the individuals themselves.